Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode from the Realm of Vast. And I'm recording this quite a while after I recorded the last part. But, uh, whoa, six double chests of andesite. Hello. Thank you, Mantis. I will use that. Uh, but before we get into the real episode, it's the first episode I've recorded in February. And I need to say thank you. Thank you to Brienne, the girl uh, who became a patron um, in the, over the last month. Uh, Thank you to Dove, who became a patron uh, just a day or two ago. And uh, thank you to Bode, I believe. And uh, Bode, I sent you a message on Patreon. Uh, if you are in my Discord under a different name or something, send it to me so I can give you the rank uh, so you can see the Patreon exclusive episode. So thank you guys so much for your support. It, it means so much to me. Um, and I'm not I'm not exaggerating here. It means so much to me that, um, that, that uh, this community has... Uh, uh, helped uh, that we can uh, run run the servers and do some special things and things like that and it's not you know it's not really coming out of my pocket it's kind of a wash so I cannot possibly express how much it means to me and how grateful I am for it so for your support thank you uh, these are the the bronze tier statues if you um, if you have uh, for the bronze tier you'll get a copy of my album once I get it uh, re-released um, for uh, the Fix It 412 channel. It's a jazz album, so take the, take, take it if you want it. And um, if you sign up for silver tier, I'll be in contact about your house, uh, where you want it. And if you did gold tier, you maniacs, then uh, I'll be in touch as far as where we want uh, the uh, the sort of the epic build that you get. So, okay, uh, on, to, on for the rest of the episode. I hope you enjoy. Uh, it's a good one. It's a good one. I'll see you then. Ferdinand Keat and Ranger Thawkins left Hound's Summit and made the last day's journey to Monument of the Fallen. Walking over a small ridge to see the portal and statues for the first time simply took the boy's breath away. This is amazing, whispered Ferdinand, mouth agaping. It is fitting tribute. The ranger's usual gruff voice was softer this morning. Each statue was a tribute to a single man who had crossed the threshold venturing into the nether, knowing it was a one-way trip. They were likely to be killed as soon as they entered the Hell Dimension, but even if they succeeded in breaking all the Obsidian portals, they would be destroying their only way home. There would be no returning to their families. How could they do this, leaving everything, every one they ever knew behind? The war was as good as lost, kid. When the elves and dwarves abandoned us after Talatal, it was only a matter of time. So, could we do the same thing? Ferdinand's mind was racing. Could we send in a party to break all the obsidian portals and trap them in the nether once again? It was tried. Sighing the older man, starting off a path heading towards one of the newly constructed statues. When word of the invasion spread, a group from Kalahal opened a portal in the mayor's basement of all places. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing at the sheer insanity of opening a portal purposefully. Only moments after phasing into the nether, only one scout returned. His wounds were far too severe for him to live but he told of unbelievable fortifications surrounding the portal. We shocked them once with a suicide mission, but it won't work again. Ranger Thawkins stopped in front of a statue with the nameplate, Verbar Thawkins. My kid, some 30 generations ago, he left his three sons and wife to go save the world. Touching the statue's hand, he bowed and whispered a prayer of gratitude. Thawkins, is this war over already? Maybe. But in Soleil, there may be someone who knows a way. He looked past Ferdinand, squinting a bit. Smiling with a nod, he greeted an approaching man. Sage Recon, good to see you again. Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, the Realm of Vastin. That was a fine intro. <laughs> really nailed it. After 400 episodes, I really got they all got all together. Hey, hey, Mantis, how's it going? Good. It's going well. So it's collab time. You probably read that from the the title in the thumbnail, I would imagine. And uh, I'm here with uh, the wonderful Crafting Mantis, and we are standing in a taiga. We've left the cold. Well, we're still in cold. We've left the ice plains, though, briefly. Yes. 
uh, the uh, the town of uh, what the heck did we call it? Salea. The town. Yeah. We have a name. The city of Salea. Did you do you have a bed? No, I, I thought you said you had a bed. I did say that, but then I looked and I don't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, hold wood, on, though. hold on. Um, yeah. I do have wool. Okay, and... I have wood here. I have I yeah, I have wood. Oh, oh more wood. Okay. Because I'm gonna okay. need to make a crafting bench. <laughs> yeah. Um anyway, so so we decided what so we have kingdom colors colors in, in the city of Silea, the kingdom of Silea, and uh they are cyan and gray, like the dark gray variant. And uh we were thinking that we should have like a, a farm for sheep here. That you can go up and just my you know, we'll get that wool. Cause I imagine there'll be a lot of banners and all that kind of thing. But we don't have that. So, you know, in this world, instead of, I know a lot of people do like, you know, a 16 color wool farm somewhere underground and stuff. And that's great. That's cool. But here, I would rather have like 16 different sheep hamlets all over the world for whatever color you want. I think that's a little bit more fun and a little bit more immersive. Exactly. So here we are. So yes. we, we looked at the Dynamap and we found this uh, location. It's actually, it's not far. It has a few bridges that we've never done. So this is just kind of to get to Salaya um, originally. So, uh, Mance, you had an idea about this little area? Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking because when we, when we first got over here, I saw this, and I thought this was a great opportunity to make, you know, just more of an organic type, you know, house for one of the, um, you know, like one of the sheep herders or something. I like that a lot. I, I like that idea. I love using the landscape. Like, I'm really, I've, I've, I'm growing less and less willing to change the landscape as I build, like, and more about just... Um, keeping it as is and making the build fit the landscape kind of the way people really would kind of back in those days, especially. Right. Um, so we have a lot of spruce here. I brought some saplings of different things. I figured we would need some different wood and I wasn't sure where we were going to do this. So I'll go plant some dark oak saplings and okay. some oak saplings. So we have those nearby. seems like spruce is good. We were looking at over here for maybe the pasture. I like this area. Yeah. It's really good. These overhangs are, are really cool. We were talking about uh, maybe adding a support or something here so it doesn't look so quite as gravity defying, maybe. <laughs> I mean, granted, there are there are actual like cliffs that I've seen that are kind of like this, where it's like, how are you even still up there? <laughs> but right. I think it would even look cooler if we actually dug out a little bit here um, and then added. Oops. Uh, oh, sorry, friend. Sorry, I want you to save you. Okay. Uh, and then we added, you know, like almost like a tunnel, like not cobble probably primarily, but you know what I mean? Like brought this out so you could walk under her and sheep would graze here and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I love it. You know, the other, the other really cool thing about this, I'm fairly confident that sheep will not willingly go in onto ice or water or sand. Do you know that? Um, they may not be willing to, but I know that they do. I mean, they'll, they'll, they can be like pushed out or whatever, but I'm pretty sure that they will avoid it if possible. So I don't know that we would necessarily have to fence in even this part. I think that the ice will actually keep them here. I think we'd only need like a fence sort of like between this rock to over there, you know, and just like use this whole area as a natural pasture. Maybe take this down, possibly. I don't know. That's a little weird. Yeah. Um, and I don't know how and many then, houses, you know, just how many houses are you, uh, are you thinking for this? Um, I don't know. I mean, it, it really, it really depends on, you know, just where we, you know, how big we want to expand it. Uh, in the past couple sheep farms I've done, there's been like maybe two or three, like maybe two houses and then like a barn or two type of situation. That seems like a pretty decent size. And then and then spend time on the ham. I found that spending time on the pasture to actually make it look like a lot of coarse dirt and path. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I'm not going to make this. Okay. Uh, coarse dirt and, and all that stuff, I think, actually does make a difference. Path walk and all that all that kind of stuff to make it look like the sheep are, are you know, pooping all over the place and eating grass and everything that they do. Okay, hey, we're back. We're back. We're doing stuff. Uh, unfortunately, we have a wolf who's who's a sheep killing machine just standing here, and we don't have bones or or. Um, well, we can. Hey, wolf. We need to talk. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> but you gotta stop killing our sheep. Okay. There we go. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, so so hopefully we'll find more sheep around here. But we've been we've been working on a couple just a couple ideas of what we have, and found this little stream that was. Uh, th oh man, these trees gotta go. 
Okay, sorry, but you'll be a custom tree soon, but I can't see anything. So we found this little, like, ice. Uh, it's, like, kind of like a half cave. So the, there's half free water and half half ice. Uh, and we decided to turn it into, like, a little spring that's going to go under the road to a little mini bridge. And then the house... Oh, oh geez. <laughs> Okay, you know what? You deserve that because you just took out, <laughs> you dug a block out from under me, sending me into the cold water. So now we're even. <laughs> I, I almost slayed you with my axe. All I do is almost, or actually, in fact, do kill people in the server. <laughs> uh, so this is going to be the house sort of area here that's going to overlook this little area. I think it's going to be really nice right along the road once we get all these sort of uh, trees gone. And, and this is going to be the pasture area. Oh man, this, this landscape is really nice. I think that especially once we come in with custom custom spruce trees that's gonna be really great yeah it's gonna be a lot of trees yeah but we're gonna need all this because i i can see the house i can already imagine how big this house is gonna be i i think it's gonna be probably it's it's gonna be end, end up being large everything i build i say it's gonna be small and then ends up being really really big so uh we'll need all the spruce and and cobble and all the stuff that we'll get from landscaping as well but yeah, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. I'm just a mad. Oh. oh, I thought he was escaping. <laughs> do, so, do wolves despawn? Uh, I'm not rightly sure. He's not name tagged or anything, so he might. And I, I'd like, I'd really like to tame him, but uh, I don't know. Oh, that's gotta go too. Okay, let's get we'll get rid, get rid of the hanging um the just the hanging little island up here. Yeah, I saw that. I like that stuff. You know, I, I'm glad those things are in the game. Even though in this world I always get rid of them, but in other worlds sometimes they're they're really nice to like use as building things if you don't care about like the realistic sort of aspect of world building and stuff. Yeah, especially well, I mean, the really. Also, it, it can also be inspiration for you know something else. Yeah, it's, you know, you might find you know a really cool floating island and decide to you know. I'm going to do something with that. Especially when you find like the really, really big floating islands. Like those are cool. Yeah. You can do a lot of cool stuff with those. Um, I, we are taking back some of this, some of this here, uh, just so you can see basically from because that's the road over there. It looks like the road's gonna have to be lowered, but just so you can see, see that there's something here I think that's gonna be helpful. We may need a lot of string in this area. Oh dear. Um. <laughs> Our stream froze. Our stream froze? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Our stream froze. I'm uh, like, I thought the stream was over here. There's no water. Where's where's the water? Oh, that's really funny. The source block froze. <laughs> froze. Um, <laughs> what we can do, you can do a slab, right? Like a slab underneath it to always keep it a sort of... I know a wall works as well. Um, yeah. Um. Oh, and it's starting to get dark again. Let's see. Which one is this? This is... Fortune. Okay, and then if you do that, I'm fairly sure that that will not freeze now. I think, anyway. I'm sure it won't actually. <laughs> yeah, cool. So yeah, so we'll just have to put a slab of something underneath all of the uh, all of the streams that we have going. But well, let's continue building, and uh, maybe we'll, uh, we'll we'll get some more things done. Come come back and check in. So I did the next part of this, and I think it turned out turned out well. It, you never really know until it's really kind of done, but I think it's going to fit in really well in this landscape. And um, boy, it's it's tough to see from the ground. Uh, a lot of pillaring. Uh, let me see here. Let's do this. Um, let's do this. And you can see you can see sort of the shapes I went with. So this one I'm trying something new. I'm going to go with a a diagonal roof uh, with a, a V shape. Here, this one um, goes up uh, in twos, but there's only one at the top. This one has a little jut out here um, that'll probably end up doing another peak within this one, but I wasn't sure until we get the walls in. Uh, this one, again, it's this one goes two, one, two, one for the roof. This one uh, goes all up by twos, but it comes out, and I think that's going to give a really nice overhang to this diagonal roof. So you see what my thinking is here? Um, back here, this is going to be all sort of filled in, so I didn't bother connecting that. This is going to be kind of the squared off building that these walls are going to go, that this uh, tiered roof is going to go into this gable. 
And this one comes out one and then it goes uh, because I thought that other, I wanted it to be one block higher than this one. See how these, these two would have been the same. So I went out, I went, I'm sorry, no, that doesn't even make sense. Uh, they wouldn't have been the same because it's, it's wider, not taller. But I went out one just so the, the profile looked different. Um, I thought it was a, a nicer look there. As a matter of fact, actually, this one block is messed up. <laughs> this one block is messed up. Hold on. Um, oops. No, darn it. Nope. Still no. Try Third try is a charm. Uh, this one right here. Yeah, that one's messed up. So you'd go this and then that to get the facing the right way. Is that right? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, now, you know, obviously detail and all that stuff. But this is going to be the little farmhouse, uh, the little sheep manor, like the, the place where these these people live and then then we'll have like barns and and things where they work out here but but i thought it should be a fairly big house because maybe they have a whole bunch of kids something like that and uh again i haven't really detailed in any of this but i think it, i think it kind of works um uh, this this coming up to be extra tall is going to be a really nice feature sadly because the way i did the roof you're not going to see the inside of that wall so let me show you uh where i'm talking about like here you like this goes up higher, but you're not going to be able to see it because this this roof is going to completely cover that, and that's all right. That's all right. You, sometimes you do things in the beginning, you think it's going to come through, but then it doesn't, and that's okay. But I think this is a pretty good design. Let me let me come up here so you can see the footprint because I want everyone to say, "Hey, wow, you placed a lot of blocks on camera today," right? In the comments. So leaving that comment, hashtag uh, lots of blocks. Okay, hashtag lots of blocks if you if you got this far in the video, just so I know who's out there who's out there listening. We'll just do that. Okay. Anyway, yeah, so there's the footprint. I think it's okay. I think it's uh it's interesting. This is the way I'm I'm building houses these days. What I'd like to do is learn how to build houses like this, but a little bit smaller. And that's gonna take just uh that's gonna take some time. So I think that the next thing I need to do is I need to go get Oh my goodness, really. I am really batting zero. Okay, next thing I need to do is I need to go get concrete and figure out what the what the walls are gonna be. I'm thinking it's going to be wood, honestly, in the walls. I mean, um, do wood, probably spruce, maybe dark oak. Eh, I like a little bit lighter walls, though. So maybe spruce. It would kind of go along with that pretty well, I think. And then um, and then probably some sort of one of the shingled the shingled roofs on top. I think those those are so nice, and, and we can use those. So I'm going to uh, talk to Manis and see what kind of roof uh, uh, she wants, because that would be probably the color scheme for maybe the other houses, too, just to keep things consistent. Um, maybe it should be, like, gray, since this is, like, cyan and gray colors and stuff like that, but... But yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. So let me, I'm gonna work on the walls and the roof, and, and yeah, I don't think I, I don't need to show you put the blocks down for the roof, right? It's just connecting, you're just going straight. Boop, straight, 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 lots of straight lines, okay? Anyway, uh, let me let me take care of that business, and then uh, hopefully I'll, I'll bring Mantis in for the next clip. Hey everybody, we're back. We're back, we're back in our hamlet. Mantis, what is this called? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Well, we could go with them. I don't know. I, 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 think, <laughs> <laughs> I think we could be more, a little bit more original. <laughs> yeah, a little bit more original than um, I don't know. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Viewers, viewers. I know we did we did this before, and it was like three months. But but viewers get to pick the name of this Hamlet. How's that sound? So, name name it in the comments of this little sheep Hamlet, and uh, best. Then we'll discuss it uh, on Discord, and and we'll just pick the best name. And, um. Okay, so viewers, you get to name this little hamlet. Mantis, what did you do in this little dirt hut? Well, this little dirt hut, this is, you know, kind of like the um, the staging. At, because I'm glitching on my video. Nice. Um, am I glitching on your side? No, it was completely, okay. looked like it's you were weird. peacefully. I was going in and out of the bed. I, in, the, and I, out, I, in and out. I've done that before because of the one block <laughs> height. Yeah, it does that. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, so this is just kind of like, you know, the, the house for the um, staging area for shipping out the wool. Mm -hmm. And nice. so we've got, you know, just, just a little bit of an interior here and, you know, some place to sleep. So, you know, especially like if somebody's actually, you know, coming, you know, walking through like we did to, you know, get here. Well, me and Pixel. <laughs> right, exactly. Um, you know, there's some place where you can stop off and, you know, just kind of, um, you know, take a nap and whatnot. Yeah. You know, there's nothing nothing in these chests. To my viewers, you might not recognize what you're seeing here. So the idea is there's a house, but then if you go inside the house, sometimes people put stuff on the inside. Now, this is foreign completely to my channel, but this is called interiors. 
that people really like sometimes. I mean, I, I've never done one, but I've heard. I've heard that they're great. <laughs> There, there, there are interiors to buildings. Yeah, I, you, I, I, I don't have one. I just live. I just have like computer sitting on all vacant floors, and a, uh, <laughs> a, a one chair. You know. <laughs> it's, it's nice. pretty great. So, uh, yeah, I like these carts that you did. These are really cool too. Yeah, I think, I think these were actually yours, possibly. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, I mean, oh, um, you it mean was, like it was the design? The screenshots. When I was going around the server and just taking like a whole oh. bunch of you know screenshots, wagons were one of them. And I'm like, ooh, I think this one wagon will look really, really good over there. So I modified it just a little bit and put them over here. You know, and I, then would, if you actually... I think that this is probably Pride Ceratops to give full credit. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is their build, I think. Okay. Well, then if, if it is Pride fantastic job yeah it's really cool right I these love wagon these. wheels aren't these a great idea like what a brilliant mm -hmm. idea right yeah i mean to give full credit it's all me it's it's my idea <laughs> to give full credit i mean so Jer germ actually did it and put it in the pack and figure out how to do it with chisel and bits but i was it's like hey germ why don't you make the wagon wheel why don't you make uh one of the trapdoors wagon wheels and then i did a really 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 crappy version of just like this horrible art like no dimension art and stuff and then he's like yes yeah, so i'll just do better and then he made these wonderful things but uh yeah they're they're awesome I, it's funny when i when i watch germs um uh update videos i just never hear him say hey fix that's a great idea i really love that idea <laughs> that you had that you completely gave me <laughs> <laughs> nice anyway let's move on well wait 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 oh, well, there's more. open okay. up one of the chests oh what, what, what do I do now? Open up one of the chests. Oh. oh, what's this? I actually put wool in them. That's <laughs> cool. That's awesome. Yeah, wow. So each, a... each of these chests have, you know, have wool in them. Oh, that's... Getting ready to be shipped. Wow, that is super cool. Yeah. So we actually have some sheep. You can't see it from quite right here, but there are some sheep. Uh, I We just finished, like, sort of fencing in the pasture. I guess we could go look at that um, uh, here recently. But, man, so you did this, this, these bridges, which are super nice. Love the depth. Yeah, but you did the texturing. I did. I, I um uh after you go after you go texturing, you can never ever return to not texturing. I, I can't <laughs> stop myself. I can't stop myself anymore. It just looks like it's it's been repaired about twenty thousand times, you know, and I love that I love that aged look. Yeah. Oh, I love really I love the side of this one too. Oh, yeah, that's so yeah cool. I wanted to do something a little bit different on this one since you know, especially since it was a smaller one. This is really cool. I really love how you did the stairs that go up. I've never, ever, ever thought of doing something like that. That is such a good look. Yeah, I really Yeah, I did that. something like that on one of the towers when um, when I was doing the towers on the World of Solitude. Hmm. You know, I really I really like how, you know, just like the stairs and the slabs and stuff, they interact. Yeah, that's really good. I, I, I've got to sort of take a mental picture and use that, use that in the future because that's a really nice thing. I threw together a little gate here. Um, probably a little more ornamental, to be honest, than it than it should be, given what it is. But I, it was one of those things I just started putting down blocks and didn't stop. Um, and then this thing, I threw this up kind of quickly here because I realized the problem. We, we wanted a place where water was coming under this bridge. Like this water did not used to flow under here. So there's a river just on the other side of that. And we thought, well, we should take advantage of that. So we made the um, the ice come in here. But then what the problem is, it, the ice immediately freezes in this biome. So it has to have a roof on it minecraft mechanics wise right so i threw this little thing up here to make it like a little watering hole put a little soul sand in there and um and then under some of these there are slabs which prevents it from freezing as well <clears throat> yeah and then i like i like the touch with the with the soul sand yeah the 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 bubbles help i did that in a swamp not too long ago and i think it really it really made a big difference and look at this block right here isn't that nice that's a brown concrete um, yeah. I had never used it in the ground before, but it looks like dried, dried caked mud, doesn't it, from here? It does. So that's something I'm going to use more in, like, forests and things like that. It's just the brown. It's like, shing it looks like shingles on top of a roof, but if you put it here, it looks like, a uh, cracked mud. Yeah, it was so natural. I didn't, I didn't even, you know, I didn't even notice it. <laughs> yeah, it really, that's awesome. it's I something like I'm going to remember, uh, I'm going to remember in the future. <clears throat> and then here, um, you tore down all these trees. Thank you very much. And that is a fake, um, that's actually a fake ridge that I did there. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm coughing. I'm still sick. 
Um, but I did that, and I, I tried to put some stone blocks to make it look like maybe it's been partially man-made, partially nature. I don't know if it's quite there yet. I feel like there needs to be some supports. Do you think wood would help that out? Like some beams? Um, well, you would either want to use beams or, um... Oh, and of course, now that I'm on the spot, I can't think of it. Um, it's like what they use on the side of churches. But buttresses? Buttresses, oh, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That might be more interesting, actually, too. Yeah, because it would add it would add another, you know, another layer to it. Mm -hmm. I like that idea. We'll add that at some point over there. And then just, I, I, I'm not totally sure of the mechanics of sheep. It's an interesting thing. Sheep will not willingly walk out onto sand. I mean, if they're pushed or something, they will. But if, if you have, like, sheep with a sand border, they will not walk on it, generally. I don't know if that's the same for ice. So, um, I did put a little wall back in the back. And also, I thought that might help keep wolves out, if there are wolves over there. Yeah. Uh, and it's it's at least a block and a half high on both sides. So, it should be safe. Right. Not that wolves can't just walk right over the top of these mountains and just fall in, but... <laughs> oh, I, I found some pork chops uh -oh. because of that. Uh-oh. Some, some of the pigs apparently got pushed off. And it's like, oh, pork chops. <laughs> Do wolves like, kill sorry, pigs? Piggy. I, do wolves kill pigs? I don't even know. No, just the sheep. But no, it they because like we got that piggy up there, he's stuck. But if something comes along, oh. then he's gonna end up falling down and getting hurt and yeah. dying and. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, you know, we can just tell Pixel Brew that there's a pig there and he'll come rescue it. <laughs> uh, another thing that we did is here, we lowered this landscape here um, because this was a natural overhang. And Mance, you built up this thing to make it look like it's supported and not going to collapse. Um, mm -hmm. But it wasn't much of a natural overhang. It was only like a block or maybe two blocks tall. So we went, came down in and I think this really makes a huge difference. Maybe we could texture yeah. it a little bit with some cobble or something too, but... but Nice. And then actually, I think we could feel safe to let these sheep out, actually, if we wanted to. Um, yeah, we definitely could. And breed more. I don't think that they can get out. Well, if, you know, if nothing else, we'll find, um, we'll find sheep all over. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, right. I'm fairly, I'm fairly sure that they are, there's nowhere that there's a, a two block high or, a more, you know, only a one block high. Uh, right. Well, I mean, they could get around, like they could go over here and stuff like that, but they still can't get up over the cliff. So I think they'll be okay here. And then the yeah, last and I thing... Yeah, I checked over here as well. Oh, yeah, you know, there's I, a cave over yeah, there. I see. Yep, I made sure that it was closed up so that they can get to it. I wonder if this. there's something that we could do with it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what. I don't know what, but when the, when something natural like this happens, I kind of feel like we should we should utilize it somehow. But I don't really have a, a good reason or way to do it. So maybe we could look to our comments for that as well. If you have a good idea of what to do with that cave, um, a, maybe a secret bandit cave or something. I don't know, something fun. Yeah, that could be interesting. Bye. <laughs> See you later. He's like, Hi. Bye. <laughs> so, well, I figured, you know, I'd, I'd come over here, too, so that, you know, my viewers can, you know, kind of see, see you know, what's over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what? What? Yeah, why is the whole way around? What? No. A chicken just randomly died. Oh, you killed it, didn't you? And now you're, you're trying to blame no. it on random death? No, I was literally looking at it. It blinked red and then fell over dead. And all it was left was the the meat. <laughs> you, I would have gotten a feather if, you want, if I had killed it. If you want food, I would happily give you food. You don't have to go around killing wildlife. <laughs> we, we got the chicken cooker now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. oh, because because I, I completely stood you up last night is why we have that. We were supposed to record last night during the Super Bowl. I wasn't even thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. Like I, I was like, hey, let's record tonight. 9.15, uh, whatever. Cool. And then I'm sitting there watching the Super Bowl, watching the Super Bowl, and like an hour and a half, two hours later, like, all right, fix. See you later. <gasps> no! And ran to the computer, and, and you were gone. I'm such a jerk. Well, I, I actually, I had actually built that before. Um, oh, okay, there's, there's a bed somewhere around here. Um, I had built that before. Uh, it just happened that that was when I had announced it because we had actually, you know, gotten some chicken. I wanted to make sure everything was working before I was like, hey, we got a chicken cooker. Uh, well, I, 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 I'm a big jerk. Everyone can call me a big jerk. Hashtag, uh, what, what do you do? Hashtag fix is a big, is a big jerk face in, in the comments. 
All right. Anyway, I am about out of time on this. I'm probably way over time. Um, but thank you for uh, joining me and showing off what we've done. We have a lot more to show you here, but we're, we're keeping it under wraps. I'm just on the other side of that, that ridge. There's some stuff. Is. So you have to come back and uh, check out next episode. Uh, for anyone on my channel, please go check out Crafting Mantis' wonderful channel and build uh, both here and your other series. I hear there's a, a new secret series coming soon. So I'm excited there to watch is. it. And uh, I will see everyone else next time from the Realm of Vast. And thanks for joining me, Mantis. Thank you.